Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Beauty at 50. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Suzanne. I talk about everything hair, skin and nails, everything beauty and everything revolving around an aging skin. So I went to TJ Maxx and I picked up a couple of lipsticks, which I guess have not been new. They've been out since 2018, but I would actually picked up one and really liked it. And actually it's the color. One of the colors is the color what I'm wearing now. It's actually the darkest shade. Um, and what the lipstick is, is it's called I Am TikTok lipstick so it comes in a container um, it's kind of weird almost looks like a pen and then if you look at it it has a heart shape and initially I didn't know why it had that shape but I tell you why it actually makes sense so the first thing you're going to do is just kind of pump it and you'll see a little bit of it will come up and the reason why it's got that heart shape is you can do the Cupid's bow. And I have to say, I've got all these different colors because I did do a color swatch. Um, I had bought five of them. I bought five of the colors and bought originally the pink ribbon, which I really liked, and then went back and bought a couple more. They were $3.99 at TJ Maxx. You can get them on Amazon still. They're $10.99. But obviously TJ Maxx is a better deal. They are, the only way I can describe it is kind of like a pen. They don't feel drying. They don't feel tacky. If you want a really deep color, the color is what it is, um, then these are really a good idea for you. Um, especially now with mask, you can actually just kind of blot it and then put a little bit of powder and then put your mask back on and it doesn't bleed which was amazing for me that's why i went and bought some more colors um, but look at this color this one is the uh, masala robe which is the one that i have on my lips right now the colors that i got really without even realizing um, i actually got kind of the same hues of shade just the difference was i guess the colors um, that was a little a little different um, but that one I thought was really a pretty shade it is a darker shade if you are interested in a darker color so you would need to do a lip liner around it just to give it that color now remember lipstick is different for everybody so as far as the shades are concerned different colors will change on different skin tones for me anything that's really more of a pink uh, tends to go Anything more of a red tends to go sometimes more pink on me, so I was wary of even picking these up. But once I picked up one, I really liked them, so decided I would go ahead and pick them all up, or well, whatever they had there. I'm going to show you, the first one that I'm going to show you is Coral Tutu, which here it is on my lips. I'm also going to show it to you on my hand, just so that you can see a little closer. On lips it is going to be different but I also wanted to show you on my hand this is on my hand this will be coral tutu it's very kind of neutral what I like about this shade is it's not too orange a lot of times a lot of the oranges will come up too orange and then make your teeth look kind of yellow this doesn't feel that way and um, the next one is pink bomber which I liked as well I thought it had such a pretty shade to it there's pink bomber so you see what I mean it's got the same kind of hues to it now I did do it light to dark because I knew I was going to have a very hard time to remove these so I wanted to be sure that I did do um, the colors like that scarlet dress is going to be like more of a true um, kind of like a red but more towards a orangey red as you can see that is scarlet dress um, the next one is actually the first one that I bought which was um, red ribbon I would say this would be more of a blue red I wouldn't say it's as probably as orangey as the other was and I'll show you what I mean by it so that's it over there you can see the difference between those two 
this is more of an orange this is more of a black and blue red and then of course the last one that I have on um, is masala robe this is the color that I have on my lips this is probably my favorite uh, just because I love the way it it's a darker shade so just be mindful of that um, but I do like the darkness and intense it almost reminds me of like a rum and raisin kind of shade but as you can see the shades are all very much that same hue um, now there is a new one well a newer one out I think it's the velvet uh, cashmere which I think would be interesting these are more of like a stain so it kind of stains your lips now that the pigments are really deep so when you get to take it off it's going to stain your lips so just bear that in mind, um, the staining that does occur on the lips. I actually have to take a oil remover just to remove the color because it does stain pretty good. That's good if you really want that staining and you want it to stay on, uh, which as I find as I've aged, I really need something to be on my lips and otherwise I look really, really washed out. So if you're in the market and you are looking for a nice stain lip, a lip stain and something that is not going to be lipstick as such this would be a really good option um, to try out and see if you like it um, they're only $3.99 like I say at TJ Maxx if you go online they are $9.99 I think on Amazon um, but it is worth a try there also is another one that has more of a velvety texture I haven't tried that but I've read about it as well so definitely give these a try if you're at TJ Maxx and um, pick them up. That's my video for today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, leave below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.